as Jace, very, very good 1v1 champion, will be Vert's last ban. So it is now blind pick time. Vert has locked in Varus. We'll see what Faker wants to play here. <laughs> oh, all right. It's time for Nasus. The insta lock Nasus. I actually think if Vert plays this well, he should have a bit of an advantage here. It's going to be really interesting to see if Faker is going to stick with these masteries because Yes, you have Wither. Yes, you have Exhaust to hold him down and try to catch up. But if you do not take Flash, if you do not take Ghost or any sort of speed up type mastery, then you're relying on something like maybe Phase Rush or just trying to push in your opponent with perhaps uh, something like Comet and an Emax going maybe more of an AP Nasus or a hybrid Nasus. More farm falls. Only five left now for Faker. Even takes the Relic off of Vert's side of the map. Yeah, that's that's it, man. I mean, it's it's too late. He's Faker gonna proxy. Go behind. Oh, now. good standing corruption. Maybe it's not on him though. So yeah. it's, he's not really in any danger at all. He can just walk back out. This is the last wave he needs access to. I feel like Faker's kind of messing with him at yeah. this point. He still has his ultimate. He's just gonna go into finish. He's got barrier as well and exhaust. Really nothing to worry about. Exhaust down there for Vert, but the wave. Ah, oh, just ticking down. Faker needs one more CS. They're gonna, gonna go, go in for the mono. Oh mono! An exhaust down. A barrier pop for Vert, but Faker will oh. get the final oh. save. Faker with the plus six to finish him off. Uh, Bjergsen could just be going straight up for what he's comfortable with. Known as a big Cinder player, he's gonna lock that. Remember, it is blind pick, so that is gonna be the Varus versus Bjergsen Syndra. And Fofo already having seen what Vert was able to bring to the table, that did not work out for him, but obviously confident that he can play it differently, is gonna be bringing the heal instead of the exhaust. The couple of pots himself. Only three right now. It's Fofo again gonna take some more damage. Bjergsen looking for the all stun lands, and there it is! First blood. Nicely played there from Bjergsen. We do still have Syndra up that we saw earlier. Varus could make yet another appearance, oh no. but Power of Evil goes straight for the Orianna, and Jisu is looking at the Pantheon, which was banned out earlier. Unless Jisoo can find a way to alt in on PoE, I, I don't know how it really happens from this point. Yeah, pretty egregious mistake as well, but here's Jisoo with the there ultimate. He's actually going to go for a power of evil, going to cut his way back in. Jisoo jumps on. Exhaust is good, though, from PoE. And now Jisoo, shockwave back in. No way good to go. Still is the ignite, and Jisoo ignite. actually still fighting. He might have gotten that kill there, but power of evil did have oh. the barrier. And now he can push in. He can threaten the dive. He has to try to threaten the dive here. If he can get in, he's, he's going. No, that's too far. Oh, oh it's too close. Oh, he my got God. It. oh my God, Jisoo! You're kidding me. Jisoo comes up with the miracle kill there. Power of Evil could have just gone back to base. All the summoners were used. The ultimate was down. That would be very interesting to actually see if, if we do get out these here. I actually think it, it, it's not too bad. It's uh, interesting because. A lot of the difficulties of his year are to do with position, and with flanking, where your soldiers are, you know, being able to actually uh, pull off these sorts of, of different moves. But on this map, it's so skinny. There's no flanking. There's no way you can be surprised. It's very easy to kind of establish your line of soldiers. And you actually do have a pretty powerful poke with even just the Q plus one on it. Lux versus Azir, which I would think would be one of the tough matchups for Azir. I agree. And not something I really would have expected to come out. So kind of out him a little bit with the, with the biscuits. I think you're going to get more health back than you can actually get in a short game uh, from the oh, oh, for the all in. in. Has the ultimate, shuffles perfectly onto Frozen. Needs oh, one more the order minions are on him. Yeah, Mako now actually just has to deal with the minions. Frozen gets a bit of a shield. The health bars are so low. Oh, the minions are on Frozen. They're chasing him in. He's just going to die to those ranged minions. Mako waiting he again. Do anything. Just, yep, chilling out. Let the soldier do it. <laughs> this new minions get the kill. Oh my god. There's a Lucian, I believe, for Uzi, and I'm pretty sure that's Levi's Victor. I know it looks wonky currently, but according to the names... Yeah, I was trusting the, the names yeah. on the champions. So I do believe it is a Lucian for Uzi and Levi playing that Victor. That is what I'm going to go with until I'm proven otherwise. Yep. But <laughs> thankfully, we don't have to wait very long to see what the champions are because <laughs> we get in the game very quickly. Can see, though. And sometimes that means playing for the smart win, right? Levi now has to try to push it out. He has to try to base try to get something going. There's try not to die. Oh, Uzi's looking for the all-in. Uzi's diving in, exhaust down on both oh, sides. Levi's him. still running away, but Uzi gonna chase him down! First blood! Nicely played there from Uzi. Pretty cool. We'll have to see, got a lot of AD bans, but... It'd still be Draven versus Draven. Either of these two. I think Sneak is maybe considering it. I hope there's some negotiation <laughs> happening right now. I don't know if you want to agree to the Jin side of the Jin versus <laughs> Draven matchup. Well, we'll have to see. Again, BOTT could be bluffing, like, Sneaky can't actually see what he's picked here. Might have to go in some good faith. Only a couple seconds left. He's got to make a choice here. And I'm guessing it's just going to be the Jin. Yep. So Jin 
person is dreaming, you can see the smile on Ziggy's face. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> that W, Mr. Minion, that's almost heartbreak there for Sneaky. We're getting so close as BOTT does need to kill a few more oh, minions. I think he's got it. Look at the crib. He is going to grab it. One CS difference. <laughs> BOTT takes the win on farm. Lucian would be pretty strong. We have seen, you know, a number of different approaches. We've actually been seeing quite a different amount of champions. Ooh. Pantheon is available. Nasus we saw uh, come out from Faker. You made that look very good, but it was against Averis. Yeah, and I did feel like Vert played it pretty defensively and kind of allowed himself to be poked out. Yeah, there's a lot more all-in potential for Lucian because you have a dash. You can actually get in the face of this Nasus here and even chase him down. And Averis can't really do that. If Nasus runs away from you, well, the fight is kind of over. I want to see it at least once. I think that would be hype. I mean, it would definitely be hype. Would it be very good? Different question. Uh, Sword Art not really able to hit a massive AoE skill shot onto Prey. All in. It's looking pretty good for Prey, honestly. The exhaust is already over. He still has his. And press the attack is on Sword Art right now. He's taking so much damage. <laughs> Just like that, Naz is not working out there. A four Sword Art. So we do have a Jin versus Jin Mir first Finally. match. First Mir matchup of the whole tournament. They have spent out, spelled out Turkey with the bands. I mean, great synergy right here between <laughs> the two players. I love it. Also love the Jin versus Jin coming up here. We did get to see a Jin yesterday with Sneaky, but it was against a Draven. It was. So. It was. And it was a very close game. Yeah. Lost by one CS. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, Sneaky actually misses W on a minion right before the end. Really make sure these minions stay alive for as long as possible to kill his own minions. Exactly. He didn't want to just instantly crit onto that cannon and kill it. He actually kept it alive for as long as possible. So just dealt a little bit more damage, meaning Zaytnot potentially could lose another minion. Now we're back in all in. Oh, Zaytnot is down a summoner and he might get chased down here. There's minion as well hitting Reckless, but he got it. Oh, Zaytnot didn't even get the barrier off there. Was maybe hoping to bait it out a little bit longer and get the minions involved, but the summoner does not come out and Reckless is able to take this one pretty cleanly.